Bonsai. I'm the Cobra Kai Kid, and today is not... It's probably going to be one of the most depressing videos we make. I'll try to keep it warm-spirited because, you know, it's about Rob Garrison, who played Tommy in The Karate Kid, and even though it is unfortunate that he did pass, you know, we should remember all the good things that he's done for us, and the impact and the mark that he left on this world. So, you know, it's sad, but we should remember those good things that he did for us because I'm sure if he were here or if anyone, you know, they wouldn't want people to like be depressed about that kind of stuff. They would want people to think about the good times and think about the mark that they made. So um, if you if you don't know who Rob Garrison is, Rob Garrison played Tommy in The Karate Kid and in Cobra Kai. And on Friday, September 27th, he unfortunately passed away. Now, I have an article here, and I will put the links to these articles in the description, but um, it says here, it says, Garrison's sister-in-law told TMZ that he died Friday at a hospital in his native West Virginia, where he had been treated for liver and kidney issues over the past month. So this was obviously something that's been going on for a little bit, but it's just very unfortunate. And then you have um, Garrison was in films, Gar Garrison was in Prom Night, Brubaker, MacGyver, Coach, St. Elsewhere. I know MacGyver. And what's really, what really made me smile is he's also in Iron Eagle. Now, I've never seen Iron Eagle. I don't know which part he plays, but Iron Eagle is the movie that Johnny watches in season one, episode one, and then he also watches it in um, episode eight, and then he watches it, and then he, then in season two, episode eight, he talks about it. So uh, Iron Eagle is a show that, a movie that comes up a lot. In Cobra Kai, so that's I I had no idea that Rob Garrison was in it, and maybe that's a new fact for you guys too. So Rob Garrison was in Iron Eagle, the show that jo the movie, the movie that Johnny watches. So I think that's pretty funny, and I um I don't know if they did that on purpose. That probably played a factor into why the writers chose that movie. That played probably played a factor. Like they probably like. They, it's not like they chose the movie and were like, oh, Rob Garrison's in it. Like They probably knew. Um, for me, that movie didn't come out when I, when I was alive, even the Karate Kid, so I had no idea. Um, so now we have... Oh, my God. Okay, so now we have John, John Hurwitz, who's the writer of Cobra Kai. Um, one of the writers, one of the three writers, and he posted this on Twitter. Our entire Karate Kid slash Cobra Kai family is devastated by the news of OG Cobra Rob Garrison's passing. He was a truly gifted performer and an even better man. My heart goes out to Rob's family during this difficult time. Rest in peace. He also says, I'll never forget how moved the entire cast and crew was by Rob's brilliant and heartfelt performance by the campfire. I'll also never forget the laughs we shared later that night over beers as the gang told stories, including some gems Rob had from the set of Iron Eagle. Um, I'm hardened to know how much Rob enjoyed and cherished his time working on Cobra Kai. We were looking forward to seeing his smiling face again this season as we had plans for Tommy to ride again, but he'll remain in our thoughts every day as we strive to make him proud. Wow. So, you know... Um, I really, um, I think it's just wonderful how, you know, obviously they weren't going to make the, the gang, the Cobras, um, Tommy, Bobby, they weren't going to make all those guys, the regulars in season one and two, because they didn't fit, really fit into that story. But, you know, they gave them an episode out of like, and it, it, it was, it was worthy and it was respectful and it was, it was something that we needed, you know, like. And to hear um, John Hurwitz say that they were, 
they had plans for him to come back in season three, probably in like a flashback or something. That was really nice to hear. And um, this, and I, I think we even heard, um, I heard that they were ca casting a, a Catholic priest or something for a role. So we pro we're most likely gonna see Bobby in this season. Um, but that was nice that we were gonna see Tommy again, you know, in a flashback form. I, I thought that we wouldn't be seeing him again, but that that's just really nice that they were gonna show him again. And it it sucks because you know it would have been nice if if we had gotten that, you know. But they probably weren't even up to that stage in filming. But you know, it would have been nice if if he had did that already, so we could see that. And it would have been nice because, you know, we know how much the whole Cobra Kai experience meant to him. And to hear after they filmed, to hear that they all had beers and told stories, that's really nice. Like, it was just a really nice moment. And um, on behalf of me and everyone else, like mo m most Cobra Kai fans, it's I think it's easy to say that episode six of season two, Take a Right, was probably one of the best episodes of Cobra Kai, if not the best episode, because of that original gang. It was just really nice to see all of them together on one last adventure, you know, even though we didn't really see their adventures in the original movie, it was really nice to see the human side to everyone and to see Tommy. Tommy, um, Rob Garrison was amazing. I, I thought his acting was just great. Um, expect, yeah, especially that campfire scene. I'm so glad that they really, like, gave him that. Him and Johnny, they gave him that moment. Because Tommy was the one who really influenced Johnny to, to really take that step into becoming a better person. You know, obviously Johnny was becoming a better person, but Tommy helped further that a lot more. Um, and man, this, that score, you're the champ. If if you're a fan of the music like I am, there's a theme where it's like sorry, but um, that's the theme that plays when Tommy is talking to Johnny. Like you still have one thing that's more important than anything, time. And you know I love that theme. Like I would play that theme all the time. On my guitar because I play guitar and after hearing about Rob's death when I play it, it it's like a different feel because now he's actually like dead and like it's it's crazy because in the show in the show he died and like it was like but then he died in real life like a couple months after so it's just it's just weird a weird situation and it was so sudden and unexpected Man. And, um, you know, it, it, but it's really nice to see everyone in the Cobra Kai community posting and supporting Rob's family. It's really nice to see that. Um, I'm going to read some of the, um, some other comments that we have. Okay, so on Instagram, Martin Cove, who plays Crease, went on to say, To all the wonderful fans of Karate Kid, Cobra Kai... And Rob Garrison. I feel we've lost one of my warriors. To the spirit of my friend Rob, I will see you up there one day and we will have the dojo to ourselves because Cobra Kai down here won't be the same without you on this planet. I send my love and condolences to the family of my friend who did such a wonderful job as a guest on the show last year. He was a really good man to those who personally shared his energy. You will be missed, young Cobra, as a friend in and out of the dojo. Love, Sensei Crease. Never die, we just regroup. So you could tell that um that he had a he he was very influential on everyone. Rob Garrison, you know, he he was just a kind person. I, I don't I've never seen any interviews or behind the scenes. I'll probably um watch some interviews on YouTube if I could find of him just to see a little more about who he was but you know he seems like ever a really good person and um he his performance in um 
Cobra Kai season two really blew me away. It was just great. Now this is from William Zapka, who plays Johnny. Yesterday the world lost a beautiful soul and an incredibly gifted a actor. And I lost one of my dearest friends, the one and only Rob Garrison. Rob and I met when we were auditioning for Karate Kid. We instantly connected and became friends while filming the movie. Our friendship grew stronger over many years since then. Rob was a true thespian, an actor's actor. Working with him was always natural and effortless. He ele elevated every scene and moment inside of them. Outside of acting, he was one of the most selfless and wonderful human beings I've ever known and I will miss him in immensely. Thank you to all his fans for the tremendous outpouring of love and respect he's being shown. I know it means a lot to his friends and family. It's just, it's it's really sad. And I mean, he, he's really left an impact. Like, get him a body bag. Yeah. Like, that's going to be, that's a iconic line. Um, That's an, that's an iconic line that, you know, you just, it's so famous. Every, that's what people know him for. And then you have, this is an underrated one. This is what not many people know, but um, must be take a worm for a walk week. <laughs> um, in Karate Kid, when um, after Daniel went to the Cobra Kai dojo to like settle things out with them. And they said like, you can't touch the prima donna. Kree said you can't touch the prima donna until the tournament. Daniel would like taunt the Cobra Kai's because he knew they couldn't hurt him. And then Tommy like came back with the insult, like must be take a worm for a walk week. <laughs> so that's an underrated line. That's just really funny. <laughs> um, and you know, and then even season two, you're the champ. You're the champ. That's, uh... oh, and then also he said, uh, hey, Johnny, take a right. You know, when, when he was saying, um, until we had Johnny and Daniel and Allie at the beach. But then in season two, you know, you're the champ. That was that was a, a remarkable moment. One of the best scenes. Tommy, Johnny kept saying how he does like, like time for what? Like, I don't have time. To, I can't fix stuff. But like, Tommy's like, yes, you can. You have time. Like, you could like start a family, whatever. I mean, that would be really nice to see Johnny with the family dot miguel or something i don't know but um yeah and then i don't know it's just it's just really sad and then one of the parts that made me really laugh was when they were at the bar telling their stories tommy was like and i remember um it was our we had the fake ids and um and the waiter knew and they the bartender knew and gave us um dishwater or something and then he didn't know what beer tasted like so he drank the whole thing it was like it was something funny they were like bonding and um i just found that really funny <laughs> he didn't know what beer tasted like so he drank the whole dishwater <laughs> and then you know during the fight oh my god and then tommy got his moment <laughs> knockout uh, it was just great so it's sad what's happened it's, it's very sad, and it's definitely a, a, a big loss to the Cobra Kai community and this world. But, you know, he's left such an impact on this world that, like, it, it's just, it's we, we have to remember him and all that he's done. Instead of being sad about that he's gone, let's be happy for what he's done. And he's done so much, and, yeah, I mean... He's just great. It's just, he's, he seems like a great person and he's going to be missed. So thank you guys for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys next time on the Cobra Kai kid. And, you know, I'll usually I say Cobra Kai never dies, but today I'm going to say another quote, get him a body bag. Yeah. Actually, I'll end with this one. Must be take a worm on a walk week. <laughs> okay, bye guys.